How's it going? And welcome back to the DJ Show, episode three, second time here at VIR. And it's going to be a fun weekend. We're here for the first round of the Spec MX5 Challenge, brought to you by Mazda Motorsports and Toyo Tires. We got Dalton, my mechanic, here. What do you think about the weekend? Um, it should be a good, a good weekend. We got six cars here, uh, six Spec MX5 cars. Um, we're ready for round number one here at VIR. It's going to be a good time. We're going to get some interviews in, and we'll see you later. We're here at VIR with Alex Bernoulli, Spec MX-5 driver. Uh, tell me a little bit about the season, what you're looking forward to last year, your go-karting stuff. Tell me anything. Well, last year we started getting into the Spec MX-5 stuff because of the shootout and, uh, you know, we ended up being pretty quick, and uh, I decided that this year I wanted to run the full national series. Uh, I did some karting last year, but uh, you know, enjoyed the Spec MX Five stuff a little bit better. So I was like, "Why not? Let's run the full season." And uh, we're going for the championship this year, and uh, we're looking to have a really good year ahead of us. And uh, had a really good weekend of testing last weekend, and uh, it's gonna be good. I'm looking forward to it. What are you expecting out of this weekend? Well, I'm expecting a win out of this weekend. I have a lot of confidence, and. Uh, you know, like I said, testing went really well last weekend, and I think we can translate that into this weekend. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be hunting for the win. So tell me about your big accomplishments in motorsports, go-karting, racing. What do you got? Well, in the United States Pro Kart Series, National Series, and uh, in America, uh, we, we've been able to win three of those national titles in 2016 and 2017. And uh, also in 2016, I was able to win the Scusa Pro Tour Championship. So uh, hopefully we could translate some of that success into the car now. Awesome. Good luck this weekend. Thanks, man. How's it going? And we're back, and I'm with my driver coach for this weekend, Tyler Cooks. Tyler, Cook. Tyler races Lamborghini. is pretty cool. So, Tyler, what do you think coming back around the Miata stuff after being some in pro racing? Um, this series here is super cool. It's, uh, it's a very close group and it's actually really cool to watch and they're having to deal with a lot of lap traffic which is you know wild it teaches them how to see closing gaps and and navigate through traffic and dealing with the spec car you know every single car is within tenths of each other and it just comes down to the driver so honestly seeing this take off as it as it has and Mazda promoting it as they are I mean it's it's a great series and it's gonna be great for the up-and-coming talent that's awesome and I know you came up through the Mazda ranks a little bit and then worked your way out from there so how'd you kind of work that ladder with steps um <laughs> uh so you know i started with miatas i did nasa scca did um the sprints and then i did nasa championship uh and i actually did playboy cup and this similar car pretty much some of these were actually the old playboy cars and you know it's it's such a good chassis the nc chassis is a very very good chassis very good handling car um and then they joined freedom right after that and i got to be their development driver and their test driver and you know i got to be teammates with tom long andrew carbonell and you know it, it was a big learning experience and Mazda really teaches you a lot with how to handle yourself how to handle a car at, you know like this and and how to race well and it, it's really helped me to where I am today with how I race yeah that's awesome so what do you got planned for this year I'm coaching you that's that's taken a lot of years off my life <laughs> um ho <laughs> hopefully uh, racing in Europe I'm still trying to finalize some of that uh, hopefully gonna be starting in Portugal in a couple months um, but you know, as racing is, we just get it's kind of a waiting game. We're going to see what see how it ends up. Well, that's really cool. As well as coaching me in the car, Tyler's going to be coaching a little bit of my media presence as well. So hopefully, I'm not talking stiff as a board anymore, and the conversation's flowing a little bit better. So that's awesome. We're looking forward to a great weekend, and hopefully, it's going to go really well. So thanks, Tyler, for the interview. No problem. And we'll see you guys later. <laughs> and welcome back to the DNJ show. I'm here with the technical lead of Mazda Motorsports, Josh Smith, and we're here at the first round of the Spec MX-5 Challenge. So Josh, give us a little bit about the Spec MX-5 Challenge and what we can look forward to for the rest of the season. So Spec MX-5 Challenge was filling a void for us that brought back the old Playboy Cup cars uh, before the, the Cup Series went over to the ND Cup car, or the current generation car. Um, we saw a void where these cars were 
basically in mothballs and we wanted to bring them back out to grassroots racing and give you know young guys such as yourself and and many of the others here uh, an opportunity to have a stepping stone into cup um we're really using this platform as bringing carters uh out of the karting scene and into sports cars in general and showing the avenues for sports cars availability certainly we want you to race a mazda and go to cup but there are other opportunities you know within the sports car realm yeah and these cars are super fun and really really good car to drive to be honest so what has been changed kind of from the playboy cup cars so it's a very similar package to the playboy cup car um we did a different shock package to try to uh tame them down the the old playboy cup package was uh, a, a double adjustable and and quite complicated we wanted to have more of an entry level package so these are single adjustable penskis on this car same spring rates as the cup cars used to have and same sway bars uh, as the cup cars had we cleaned up uh, a few engine tolerances but still very much a factory stock mazda motor and really all mazda running drivetrain nothing nothing major change in the car yeah that's awesome i mean we're running really fast here at advanced i mean the mazdas are doing great we took P1 through 6 yesterday, so it was an amazing day, and really you can't ask for much more. So, uh, yeah, it's been a great weekend, and we look forward to the rest of it and the series to come, and we really appreciate what you got going on here. So thanks for the interview, Josh. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. Spec MX-5, Mark Hansen, father of Josh Hansen, part of the D&J show. So, tell me a little bit about your life in motorsports and everything, and from the start. Just give me everything. So, we start, actually, we started out by winning a go-kart at Road America during an IMSA weekend, and I just happened to be talking to the guy, and Josh was five at the time, and I said, I'd like to get him in one, and he had a little kid cart for sale. So we literally did a trade for this cart I bought <clears throat> for the little kit cart that I got. So I ended up getting for free. And I always say that's my most expensive purchase ever in life because it led to uh, everything that's come after that. So we got him in the cart. He loved it. We had a great time. Then we started working on that go cart. And then he uh, got second at kit cart nationals when he was six. And, and then we just started moving up and just started, kept go karting every year and working at it. And, uh, you know, it, at that age and stuff, the dad's always, you're working on the car, and you're the coach, and you're trying to tell him what to do, even though you couldn't do it. Like you're saying, you got to keep your foot down in this corner, even mm -hmm. though you would never. But then as we got into, we started going into cars, we bought a spec racer Ford when he was 14, got him into a car as soon as he could so he'd learn how to shift, and then uh, we moved up from there, and then we got the Miata, <clears throat> and we built the Miata, and and uh, so we're racing the Spec Miata, he's racing a Spec Racer Ford, and then he's racing uh, these MX-5 Cup cars. So now as a dad, I kind of take a step back and I, you know, it's time to let go of him a little bit and let him learn and let him do what he does. And because now he can drive a race car far better than I ever could. So why get in the way? So now I just let him go. I'm just the funding guy. Does it make you a little bit more nervous between carts and cars? Mm -hmm. Absolutely not. Actually, I, I'm, I'm much less nervous in a car than a go-kart. In a go-kart, they touch wheels and things happen and they flip and break collarbones and everything else. In a car, there's a big roll cage around them, a tub, and um, so yeah, no, I'm less nervous in a car. Do you, uh, are you a little jealous of him running all these dream tracks of yours mm -hmm. that you wanted to run as a kid at his age? Yeah, it hit me at Indianapolis last year when he was running in Indianapolis. I was like, how was it? He's like, I don't know, it was a track. I was like, are you kidding me, man? You're running Indy. And uh, so yeah, I am jealous of racing Sebring, racing here, racing Road America like he does. He won at Road America last year, so that was my big jealous point is actually he won a national race. Nice. Dean J. Show here from Virginia International Raceway here with Mark Hansen, dad of Joshua Hansen. Welcome back to the DNJ Show, and we're wrapping up the weekend here at VIR. And let me tell you, we ended it on a high note. I finished out the weekend with a third place. It was absolutely fantastic. The cars ran well, and I think everything went as good as it could have gone. I mean, what do you think about it? 
the 10 here um, but honestly it was a great weekend we're looking forward to the next round which is mid ohio correct yep. um and we're, yeah we're just gonna hopefully keep this momentum rolling for for the next event and obviously for the rest of the season so yeah awesome thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing you at mid ohio